It is time, y'all. Let us let us go to Yum Yum Island. It was initially called Yum Yum Island in the test server, but they decided to kind of like last minute change the name to Yum Yum as it became official. Unless it was just pronounced Yum Yum the entire time, but on the world map the English translation was Yum Yum Island. So I've been calling it Yum Yum Island for a little bit, and uh, it's not called Yum Yum Island. It's called Yum Yum. So. This little opening cutscene here. Now, I feel like I kind of know this story a little bit more in the Reverse City, but I still don't exactly know what the hell happens here. It's uh, <laughs> they give us a little dialogue of what's going on, but th if there's one thing you need to remember, it is that Yam Yam Island. The story here does take place between the events of after uh, Choo Choo Island and before you enter latch so that's just something that you have to keep in mind but we're in this cutscene for a little bit of time and because i don't know what it's saying i'm just going to go ahead and skip through this so the map that i trace my app so at uh this is the little entrance map to yum yum island so pretty much entering here we'll see a lot of uh creatures that are very similar to the creatures of choo choo island more, more so on like the NPC side, the mob side isn't exactly the same at all. I mean, we're hearing, we're hearing some sort of noise here. This is uh, probably a noise of maybe what's in the fungus forest. Now, just like Reverse City, I've only done this entire storyline one time. Uh, so, it, it's a really short one. It's, it's relatively short, but... As you know, as we do the quest, I'll kind of talk about what's sort of going on. So here we are, Yum Yum Island, level 215 area, the expansion from Choo Choo Island, mainly made to kind of combat overpopulation, which was very, which was shown a lot during the glory patch. Again, the glory patch was in the terror burning and the breakthrough that was in there was the sole reason why maps such as Reverse City and Yum Yum Island were created. Now you see this little chameleon here, his name is Caster. Uh, he will be the main character of this quest line and we'll kind of be exploring around Yum Yum Island a little bit with him. If you can look on his uh, clothes and there's like a blue button there, you'll eventually grow to see, see they're even zooming in on it, you'll eventually grow to see that the blue button is something that is extremely important in this quest line. It, it plays a huge role on the, the lore of what goes on here. So we're gonna start off the story with a little bit of mob killing. So I will need to buff up a little bit for this. Uh, hopefully, uh, there's no arcane force requirement in this map, so chances are I will not be one-shotting these mobs. But to be on the safe side, I will still use all of my buffs. Yeah, I'm not one-shotting. I, I would if there was an arcane force bonus, but it is what it is. Mobs here are as low of a level as 215, and they go as high as level 220 in some of the later maps. Yum Yum Island is divided into three different areas, the 130 Arcane Force area, the 160 area, and the 190 area. Again, the 190 area in Yum Yum Island is the same like HP and EXP as mobs that you would see in like Outlaw Street and Latch. So, if you feel it really, really strong, then you can grind in the maps like those. But unfortunately, I'm not at that level of damage yet, so I can't exactly do that. And again, you notice those mushrooms and the monkeys on, like, you know, their neck, they all have the little blue button. So, I don't think they've sort of mentioned it yet, but just in case I miss it, I'm going to bring it up anyway. Those blue buttons were given to every single mob and every single NPC by Kaling. Kaling is the uh, one of the NPCs in the Ho Young quest line. I did the Ho Young story to level 200. I, I finished it on my Ho Young, um, but I, I think it was towards the end I kind of realized that Kaling wasn't exactly the the most bright person she seemed to get pretty evil towards the end i, I think um and it, it really kind of emphasizes towards that on yum yum now what power the blue button has i i don't exactly know per se 
Uh, it, it just does things to the mobs here, just because it can. <laughs> Hell if I know. One of my favorite NPCs of all time, recently added. <laughs> it's a dog. It, it just barks. The legit. His only dialogue is just straight barking, and he, he's the best thing ever. He's a mix of Horntail, obviously with the three heads, and judging by his name there, it is very similar to what you would see on Horntail. Um, I, I, I don't know what the first part of his name says, but I... I the only name I genuinely remember here is Caster, really. <laughs> Tough shit. So here's the town. You see like a bird that looks like Red Pierre. Uh, there's a little cat there. The cat doesn't look like it has any sort of fusion of anything. Because th there is no blue button on the cat, but there is a blue button on the dog. And there is a blue button on the bird. Um, and as we get a little... As we get... Should be here pr pretty close. Uh, they'll start talking about the fusions between the mobs and stuff, kind of how Caster looks really similar. He, he's a fusion between Von Bon and uh, a chameleon, you know, stuff like that. So it's about to show it here in a little bit. Uh, so in Choo Choo Island, the mobs are born normally, so apparently the monkey has similarities to Balrog. The mushroom, it doesn't show any similarities for that. Uh... The, as I was saying, Chuchu Island, the mobs there are born normally. But here in Yum Yum Island, every single NPC and mob was artificially created. The, these are not, like, people that were born just normally to look like this. They're, they're created from Erda creatures that have died. So, think you about that. It, it gets a little dark and twisted. Then, after seeing all that, we make some sort of connection of the lion and Damien. And, of course, everybody's been saying this since Chuchu Island came out and we saw the little mark on the lion. At the time of Chuchu Island, Damien was still a pretty new boss. It was only out for, like, five months prior. Uh, so, people thought of making, like, connections of, you know, how they were close. And to this day, I still don't really understand too much about the connection between... Uh, Leon and Damien though, so it is what it is Now the freaky part about this at the current moment is that Caster has No idea that he is the result of some experiment. He doesn't know that he's like an actual creation so I mean, I'll, I'll just say right now that he'll eventually figure out later on But you'll eventually see how he'll react to that news so we're here a little deeper into the forest. We are completely skipping the first area. Uh, going immediately to the 160 Arcane Force area. And uh, the first quest we're given is to press spacebar on five of these things and kill 100 of these mobs. These mobs are... I mean, assuming it's 160 Arcane Force, they're probably like level 217. Yeah. So luckily I am able to one-shot. So, I gotta find where the other two are. Oh, this one right here. Four. And then I think there might be one on the ground that I have yet to touch. It will tell me by, like, NPC chat. Oh, wait, this one's up here. I'm completely blind. And now that I have killed those mobs, it's time to go crazy. See if that reaches at the top. And holy shit. It's like some of these maps of this class can be so good to grind at just because of its V skills. Its V skills. <laughs> They're insane, but I love that they're insane. Next quest is literally the exact same thing, just in the form of different mobs. So while I take these, I'll just pop my soul clips. We have right, three. Let me find the other two. Four and five. And that that's done, I can just chill out right here. I'll wait for mobs to respawn so I can kill them immediately. I wonder if I can finish this quest by blowing up the sun. Uh, I forgot to. See, I, I, I try to see if I can sync it well with <laughs> the respawn time. But as you can see, that failed miserably. But no need to fear. We're practically done anyway. I've been caught in another 
50 mob kill spree, except this time I have to kill fish. These are the flying mobs of this area, so these aren't actually like regular mobs that you'll see in an actual field. Again, dog just comes in, bark bark, give me shit, I fucking love him. I had an arrow above my head, but it disappeared because I went to a portal. I also just realized that Caster and the dog are behind me. So hopefully I'm, a, I'm not getting sidetracked. I'm kind of just walking towards the fungus forest because I feel like that's kind of the logical thing I have to do. He just gave me some... Okay, yeah, I'm here. So we just hatched the Blue Pierre. This is pretty much around the time where Caster will figure out the true identity of what he really is and every time that dog talks you just hear the tiny little bark bark noise you don't hear it much because I have my side effects low only just so I don't get my ears slaughtered when I'm up so I think caster is kind of coming to terms here let's see screen went dark music changing this is uh this is how it is. They're telling us the true history of the blue button. Right here. Give give it a little bit of time. See, I even asked, like, Caster, like, you good? Is there something going on? Probably not taking it too well. As I've said, he's not taking it too well. So, out of a fit of rage, I think I might have to, yeah, I have to fight him. He does a lot of damage. Oh, he does fixed damage, of course. And he has a lot of health, too. I'm missing a lot. Ah, uh, he's gonna be what, yep, yep. Just like Reverse City, you can only do a certain amount of damage to him before you start missing repeatedly. It seems like every 20% I start missing for at least like a good five or so seconds just to, they want to stretch out this fight for some reason I don't really understand. I beat him up, uh, I move towards him. I say I beat him up, like that's a good thing, it's not. Uh, he's still kind of a little pissed off about the fact that that happened so he runs away. He runs to the fungus forest, and you know, we don't want him to be all like freaked out and stuff. Like, why, why are you doing this? So, me and the gang, we, we start running towards him. Yeah, I think it might just be the dog, to be honest. Yeah, oh, here's a blue Pierre. I don't know if he stays back here while the dog and I go into fungus forest. Let me double check. Oh, well, we are led to see some sort of. Monster Park type stage, very similar to what we saw in Reverse City, and this is a little preview of Fungus Forest. There are two different mobs. Uh, one of them is like a Zakum type mob, and then in the second map, we see some squirrels. Uh, really weird mobs here, Fungus Forest. But hey, that's just uh, that's just the way they are. Final stage, stage three. Let's see if I can. Kill them all before the end of my Elysium here. Ooh, I missed one. There we go. Clear. So yeah, the dog is here. I don't see the blue Pierre. In the event, it just kind of seems like I'm talking to myself. Talk, it's just talking to Caster, or talking about Caster, and then here we go. The dog with his intellectual thoughts. Bark, bark, bark. Bark, 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 bark. Oh, he, he's going somewhere, though. It's like I have a little bit of understanding with the dog. I can make some sort of conversation with them. He, he's really good help, though. Let me see. Alright, about to get a quest from him, probably. Yep. Uh, should be another mob killing quest. I have to choose one or the other. I'm just going to choose the first one. If that's wrong, I'll choose the second. Alright, that quest is done. Hold on. Bark, 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 bark. <laughs> It, it, it's simple. Oh, he. Ah, uh, okay. So just kill 50 of each mob for this quest. So I just have to go to a map with like mixed mobs and then pop my son, and then the quest will be done. I'm sure the mixed map is is this one. So 100 burning. A lot of these maps have extremely high burning, which is a, a super good thing. And considering it's still Sunday, 
We're gonna see how much EXP we get off of the, this rune after killing 100 mobs. We're already at 33 million gain in 10 seconds. <laughs> Just FMA the entire map with this. This, this is the type of content I want to see. Alright, the quest is done. It took less than a minute to finish it. Let's go ahead and make our way to over here. I think we might be coming in towards the boss fight here soon. Yeah, this is the map of the boss fight. I think it's huge. So there is a certain something that is inside of this flower, which I'll go ahead and say right now was meant to stay in here for a little while longer, but because we like to look through things so much and be a little nosy, it appears and out comes a mini dragon. And this is the boss of Yum Yum Island. So we're about to fight him real quick. Here's the boss fight. 20%? Wait, was that 20? No, that wasn't even 20. Holy crap, this guy's stacked. Okay, that should be, a bit of, should be about 20. Give me the little misses for 5 seconds. The fight continues. Honestly, this is no better than the cancel weapon attack feature that, like, Quantel has and stuff. It's like Nexon's going back to their old roots. Oh, watch out. You're missing. Dodge the attacks. I think it's been long enough. There we go. Trigger the next set of misses, and this will be the last one before the boss completely dies. But not exactly just yet, because we have to fight him again after this. Oh, out comes Caster. Did he just get struck by a blast? Yeah, he did. <laughs> Dang, he comes right next to me. Uh, all right, now he's still furious about what he was but now it seems like here we get to have caster assisting me in this second fight with him and he is dead so apparently it's after here is when we pretty much kind of figure out the the meeting of the blue buttons on all the mobs and all of the NPCs and stuff as a matter of fact a blue button just spawned in that flower right there so what these blue buttons are is it's the source of all of the negative emotion in yum yum island so obviously the solution is to just completely get rid of it and then after that is basically nearly the end of this very again very very short theme dungeon so we talked to caster I think things start to lighten up a bit after this. Uh, we haven't made it to the epilogue part just yet. But things get slightly better. See, out comes Lion. Leon. Uh, he apparently knocked out Caster. Okay, I'm about to say, he, he just jumped out. And then Caster fell on the ground. Hey, what's going on here? I can't even see. Cause the uh, weapons in the way, but it looks like a hand came out of it. It's weird. Dude just smacks it. Ah oh, yes, all right, cool, cool. The true savior of Yum Yum Island. So they do that to all the buttons, and uh, we might be making our way back to town after this. The dog is a quest for us. I can live with that. Teleport out. Not yet. I guess there's still like a little bit more that we should resolve here. Oh, is that the same flower? What the hell? Unless that's different. I mean, that's gotta be different. That the thing looks so much bigger and uh some sort of evil scheme was being plotted here i suppose and we managed to stop it before things could get worse so that's a good thing all right we're back in town everybody's back 
you even have the red and blue bird pierres together and as a result of you see nobody has their buttons on them anymore they got rid of all of them so we I guess we celebrate <laughs> the dog my favorite and then that's that's that really So there's still one more quest because I haven't received my general reward yet. Uh, let me make sure I have space for that because it's going to be another 20 symbols. Let's open this bit up. It'll be another 20 symbols. I just got them. And now we have the epilogue scene. So Nineheart and Cygnus learn about Yum Yum Island. And through learning about this, this is when they decide to send the relief squad in. So the relief squad you see, that's Ollie. This is the squad that you meet at the end of Morass. Not exactly the end of Morass. I, I think you run into them from the for the quest line that you unlock a Morass dailies. And then you see him again in Morass right before you enter his Pharah. But this is pretty much the introduction of the relief squad. We have Ollie, Schubert, and they do mention a specific magician from Grandis that will be coming this way as well uh, I think this is when they kind of somewhat I don't, I don't think they really thought he was like 100% legit yet at the time but that's when they send in Melange and see if he can help out with certain things so we're here we're back in the fungus forest we have Kaling the enemy of the whole young quest line and she comes in and says that the dragon wasn't supposed to even hatch yet uh, but at the end of the day she doesn't really care she seems like she accomplished what she needed to accomplish I suppose and kinda just gets the hell out of here and that's it Yum Yum Island is done I don't know what the fuck else to cover in this episode holy shit this might be the shortest episode yet and I've had some pretty short ones short ones the shortest ones are like half an hour <laughs> <laughs> uh, though I do want to say over time, I did, well, between episodes, I got the app so shorter to 10 stars, I hit s level 6 on Choo Choo, so next thing I'll do is hit level 10 on this, which will cost 66 mil, which if I do end up grinding on day 31, which starts in like an hour and a half, I will be able to get this to 10 with you know the daily meso and a little bit of grinding meso and after that i get to work on a bigger project that will take a big majority in the place in episode 19 and that will be in regards to a brand new weapon we're finally going to go for the absa weapon and we're not going to settle for some low little baby stats on there we're going to go big we're going to go big with that weapon we're going to scroll it well but before we do that you know what spoilers from the next episode i'll talk more in depth about the project than for the APSO weapon. But for now, I guess to kind of stretch out time, because I feel like much hasn't really been covered, I'm gonna go play with some maps. I see your notes phone drop. Uh, this map here has stage one burning. Really, I wanna do a test on maps without my V skills, because with my V skills in literally every single map, it's a known fact that everything will be doomed to die. Now, this isn't that bad of a map in terms of, like, rotation. Mainly because I can just air dash at this platform and kind of have a perfect little cycle here. Pop my V skills, again, everything dies, so I'll see myself waiting for respawns. Um, though, I don't know, I feel like it's a little too small. The rotation feels a little silly in a way. I even messed it up there. This map is dark, fun fact. Uh, it'll, it'll take a little bit of testing here. I'll do like short one minute test on how much EXP I can pull from here without the usage of any of my V skills. 105 million in one minute. This is with stage 10 burning. So I'm really just going to have to test with a whole lot of stage 10 burning maps. Yum Yum is good for the sake of burning. Because, again, there isn't really a lot of it. Let's see if I can... Alright, cool, I can. The air dash method seems to work for a good chunk of maps. 
I like this one a little bit more because it's a little wider. Hmm. Stage 10, I right, will do another minute test here. 106. <laughs> very, very close. So those two maps are about the same. Now, this is 80. I probably won't test this one. Also, I had a little trouble. You didn't really see much of it, but I had a little trouble trying to air dash to set platforms when they get a little high like that. Like, I really have to time them perfectly. If they are a little lower, then it wouldn't be too much of a problem. But they do tend to get a little rough uh, when I can't time it right. If anything, um, I'll test some of the other maps later on or in this in the later areas. I probably won't test this map here because it's only stage five. Again, the maps I want to test are like the high burning ones and uh, not really any of the low ones because low burning means it's got some sort of population and. If there's times I'm grinding during busy Korean hours, then a lot of people could come through. Maybe people actually might not ironically grind here, you know. How about this one? A bit of the passageway is weird. Uh, a lot of these maps will tend to have tend to have low burning because people come through. This is a 190 year camp force map, so I won't be able to one shot when fully buffed because well it's 190 or paying for it look at this look at this the level 220 like i'm only barely able to two shot these mobs they give a lot of vxp and by a lot i mean only a little bit more than before so because of my kill rate it's not worth these maps are not worth it at all so if done right i feel like this map is doable because like i can air dash right there and then i can attack the top here but only problem is, these guys have enough health to not guarantee one-shots due to lack of crit rate. If I have bad RNG with crit rate on my attacks, they won't die in one hit. Uh, that's what kind of scares me the most. But I'm trying to get myself a little bit of an okay rotation down here. And then I'll test it right afterwards. It's another 100% burning map. So all you really have to do is kill this elite. Ooh, it's a dark map. And, uh give the test right now 116 this map actually takes the cake good stuff now i think this is the last 160 map before it hits the 190 area stage 9 layout feels oh first would be the air dash test it works i know it's on 100 curse rune if i attack you long enough i'll get a lie detector because that because of how the runes work but I can attack them up here. Mm, seems like a decent map to try out on stage 10 burning, if it ever hits that. But so far, this is a really good map. I'll probably try and compare it to one minute at Torn Zone, aka the map I've been training at. But now that I'm somewhat done here, I just want to check out Fungus Forest real quick. Fungus Forest comes in forms of six different maps. That map looks like a very similar layout to an old map. Most of the maps in Yum Yum layout wise seem very, very similar to each other, I feel. This one is stage 10, though, of course, my rate of one shotting here is a little less likely. Air dash test does not seem like it'll pass. Let's try it again. Yeah, it's, it's just not exactly working well. Uh, I don't think I'd like Fungus Forest. Mainly just because of the mobs. Like, I'm already having enough trouble one-shotting in the previous area. So, the fact that it doesn't really help a lot here doesn't really help me, I suppose. But, that's okay. Let's, let's go ahead and see if there's anything appealing here. Stage 9, 2, this isn't a really a bad layout I suppose, that second map, I'll, I'll give the second map a go, right here, the map title has 2 in it, though it'll require an up jump instead of an air dash, it's kind of be like going around the map like clockwise like this 
One minute test. I'm not expecting any big numbers out of this, mainly because of my lack of one shotting. But that'll be after I do the portal. Seems like my worst numbers yet. I had terrible vibes on this BA. 10 seconds in. Wow. I stopped the recording instead of stopping the BA. Uh oh. <laughs> I mean, 103 in a minute. It's, it's not like that terrible. But. If I'm gonna be real honest with you, even if it was a little better, I probably wouldn't have stood here. Because I don't exactly like the vibe of this map. Even if the rates were the best. You ever just feel that way? Some map might be better than others, but you don't really want to train there because of just the way the map is compared to other maps. But good thing it's not, so the only map I found decently worth trying out, it's only like okay at best. So, the thing to end it all off, I will be training in this map. Wait. No, I'll be training in this map right here. Right here. That is my designated go to map. Meanwhile, at this hour, Torrent Zone 1 has lost its burning. I don't like to go to other Torrent Zone maps because. Again, you kind of already understand that if this map gets a little popular, Torn Zone 3 is freakishly overpopulated and that actually pisses me off. Uh, compared to Comparing to other maps with Yum Yum, we will be beginning a 1 minute test here. Now, it won't be exactly fair because it has no burning, but it really just shows us the big picture and situations and how crazy good burning maps can be. But even without burning, this map is still very capable of pulling nasty rates. 80 mil versus 110. Like, come on, dude. If this map had 100% burning, it would outdo all the maps in Yum Yum by a long shot. And that's what I hate about it so much. Like, it, it, it's sort of like a thing. I would have to kind of alternate between where I want to grind. Uh, there are... Half of the day in Korea, kind of starting about right now, close to reset, burning maps won't go up. It's because, I don't know, a whole thing regarding the midnight ban taking effect and stuff like that. Uh, the burning maps don't go up and eventually they just gradually go down. But after like 10 a.m. Korea, the maps will eventually begin to go. Is this a free torrent three map? I'm about to wild out here real quick. But again, as I was saying, the maps go up after like 10 a.m. Uh, so that's when it'll be more comfortable to choose a yum yum over choo choo again. But on hours like these, the burning maps are still high, but they're gonna start dying off until tomorrow, unfortunately. But I guess while I'm here, I'm gonna do one minute test here for fun. I can't realistically grind here due to how popular this map gets. But, we'll see it anyway. This map is overrated mainstream trash. I pulled basically damn near the same rates as Torrent 1. I, I hate people so much. <laughs> Two maps basically giving me the exact same rates. One of them is extremely glorified, and the other one, not so much. I, I've always had a thing against popular maps. I, I've always had that one thing. They, they've always pissed me off so much. But, hey, the people who are here don't get to enjoy the big luxuries of portals or MVPs and stuff like that. And, and I do. So, I mean, they can just buy MVP coupons, but portals, they don't get none of that. So I get to keep that for myself. So, I think I have an official. I'll have to try a daytime test for this map and see how it'll compare. At least then, I'll, I'll do like a full six minute test with V skills and stuff and kind of compare and see what the true energy is between this map and Torn Zone. But I've always been really looking forward to training at Yum Yum Island, so I'm sure this map won't exactly disappoint. And of course I popped this sun and <laughs> this shit gets crazy. So before I end off the video, I let me record this quick little one minute test with V skills real fast because this is this is monsters. Like, I'm already at, I mean, I'm on a rune, so it's kind of not fair. Let's pull this up. Yeah. 
pop this. Okay, they go crazy. They should be able to reach the top. Now, if I had a 2x coupon, these rates would be even higher. But I don't. We're already at 200 mil. Got like 10 seconds left. Just fully FMAing the map here. But the Elysium is gone. 251 mil in about a minute. No. An extra two seconds because I have to take time to get that last hit off. But overall, with the addition of portals, portals will be much more worth it here because these mobs are a higher level. So at the end of the day, I, I can't complain. As I get stronger and I can guarantee one shot's 100% of the time instead of 99%, the map will become slightly better and I'll be happy. But if anything, worst case scenario, I'll just continue to do a little bit more exploring. But right now, I, I enjoy this map. This map is not bad at all. But that does conclude it. I still think it's, uh, well, I'd have to see the time afterwards, so I can't exactly say that. But thank you all so much for watching the video. I really do appreciate it. Episode 19, again, we'll talk more about the weapon and we'll focus on our grind to 220. And then episode 20 will be the finale. So, I'll see you guys then.